Nee, so lange habe ich es. Hm. You can try me. <lacht> so krass. Oh, <lacht> All right, hey, hey, I know it's late, guys, so I probably won't have too many people on to join, but um, I wanted to share, I guess you could say a revelation that God gave me um, earlier today on my way home, um, and I titled the uh, live, Let's Talk Favor, so I'm going to pray really quickly so I can get uh, get finished and get off. So if you all would pray with me, Father God, I thank you, honor you and glorify you, Lord God, I reverence your holy name. You are great and greatly to be praised, Lord God, beside ye, there is no other. I declare that you are great in my life, Lord God. I declare that you take the forefront before all, all things, Lord God, it's you first and foremost, Lord. I ask, Lord God, as I give what you get, what you've given to me to your people, Lord God, that you help me to continually have my ears to your lips that I might hear what you have to say, Lord God, and I might give them exactly what your words are, Lord God. Help it to be an encouragement to your people, Father God, and I just thank you for choosing me. I humble myself. I decrease as you increase, Lord God, and I ask that you hide me behind the cross as always that your people might only see you and that you and you alone will be glorified. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. All right, so um, why I don't know why the scripture uh, came to mind, um, especially being that I'm married um, already, but Proverbs 18 and 22 came to mind on my way home um, this afternoon, and we all know it's a very popular scripture, whoso uh, ever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor with the Lord, and um Really, it was something brought to my remembrance passing by somewhere. And um, the scripture popped into my head and I said, okay, Lord, well, what, what am I supposed to get out of this? And uh, the situation that he reminded me of, and I've told you all before, I've been in um, very difficult and challenging relationships. And I've told you all, I've been transparent about a situation I was in with a guy before I met my husband. And um, I remember at the time being his quote unquote side chick. And at the time, um, right before I cut that situation off and I started dating, courting my husband with my husband, um, I did a job application for him. Still knowing that I was the side chick, that he would only come to me when he wanted something, that, you know, he may have cared about me, but he did not love me. He was not in love with me and still being okay with being his side chick. I continued to uh, pursue that situation when in all actuality, he should have been pursuing me. Uh, but I remember putting in his job application and praying over his job application because he needed um, he needed a, a change. And I never knew whether or not he received the job because we stopped talking soon after that. And I just so happened to go into the place where uh, he put in the application and he was working. And God brought it to my remembrance today, I'm guessing, because... I've healed from that. Now I was able to receive it and get something out of it uh, as he shared. And I said, wow, that was favor. And he said, absolutely. He so whosoever findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor. 
I was created to be a wife from the foundations of the earth, whether or not I was married or not. So whoever came into my life and I allowed to latch on, obtained the favor of me being called to be a wife from the beginning. So the favor that he obtained from the Lord, even though we were not married, it, is, it does not say he who findeth his wife. It says he who findeth a wife. And ladies, we have to be so careful about who we allow to latch on to us, like those leeches uh, latch on to us and receive our favor when they're not worthy of our favor. Um, it's amazing because it doesn't say, it doesn't tell us, you know, he'll obtain the favor if he puts a ring on your finger or he'll obtain your favor if you all get married. It says he who findeth a wife. So it blew my mind because I'm like all this time jumping from relationship to relationship prior to me being married with this person and that person trying to pursue this and pursue that knowing God said no. And all I was doing was releasing the undeserved favor that God uh, allows um, men to or, or, uh, or husbands, however your situation is, to obtain from you because you were called to be a wife. So then I looked up the word favor and the definition that uh, I read says, give unfairly preferential treatment to. So we are giving unfairly preferential treatment to people who are undeserving of it because we won't be patient enough to wait. And here we are hurting and being heartbroken and torn down. And um, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought this was the one. And the whole time, they're not only receiving everything of us because we're pouring out. We're naturally loving. We're naturally affectionate. We're naturally nurturing. Not only are they pouring, not only are we pouring out everything that we have in us because it's our nature, we are freely and unfairly giving prefer preferential treatment to someone who's undeserving of it because we won't be patient and wait. Y'all, if somebody would have broken, you know what? I don't even know because I was so caught up in being in, in a relationship and being loved and, and being valued and things like that. I don't even, I don't even know if back then I would have been able to receive it, but if I had been able to hear it from someone and receive it from someone back then, I would not have wasted my favor on so many people. I would not have wasted my favor. So ladies, whether you are, you're uh, married, you're in relationships, because sometimes even we can marry the wrong person. We can think that we heard from God or we're so adamant about being in a relationship and being married that we marry the person we're with without seeking counsel from God to understand whether or not that's supposed to be our husband. And God is not going to force you not to marry if that's what you're um, you're stuck on doing and you don't want to hear from him, his counsel. He's going to allow you to uh, marry that person ultimately. But once you're in covenant, that's it. But we have to understand how important it is for us to trust God and trust God's process. Because we're giving our favor to people who are undeserving. It's just like um, someone who always takes advantage of you, always uses you, and uh, never says thank you. And then they always turn around and say, do me a favor. They're not deserving of you, do you doing them a favor. They're not worthy of you doing a favor for them. But we continue to do those favors. We continue to be used. We continue to be manipulated. And we don't even see it. So guard your hearts, ladies, please guard your hearts because your favor is at stake. It says, he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing. He who findeth a wife. So if we're walking around declaring, oh, I was, I'm a wife. I was born a wife. I'm not a side chick. I'm not a girlfriend. I'm not this. I'm not that. Okay. You're not, but 
just know when you link up with those people that God has not ordained you to, to be with or not has, has not created a divine connection, you're willingly giving up your favor to them, whether or not they're going to put a ring on your finger or not. So please be careful. Please treat your favor as precious as it is because once it's gone, you can't get it back. That person that I was so wrapped up in and I just knew that that was going to be the one and uh, he was going to choose me and he was going to ultimately see how much um, how much I could add to his life and he never did. But all that time he was obtaining favor from the Lord because he had found a wife. I was not his wife. But he had found a wife and he was obtaining favor from the Lord because of it. Favor was on him and I didn't even know it. So y'all, please be careful. I know as women, we get tired of waiting. We get tired of uh, jumping from relationship to relationship. We get tired of being single. We feel like, okay, I'm this age or that age and I'm supposed to be married or I'm supposed to be in a relationship but please wait because you do not want to waste your favor on someone who is not deserving of it. So I love y'all. I just wanted to talk to my ladies a little bit um, because I know how it is. Married or not, I know how it is. I have been through. Um, I have been through situations that you all wouldn't even think that I would touch with a long handle spoon, but I have. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you guys to continue to wait, continue to be patient, continue to hear from the Lord, continue to know how valuable you are and how precious your favor is. And you don't want to you don't want people, especially men, uh, to be obtaining your favor. You may be created to be a wife, but that does not necessarily mean that you are their wife and don't allow them to obtain your favor uh, just because they're that leech hanging on because you, they know you're a good thing. So I love y'all. I'll be praying for you guys. Um, I hope this was a help to someone. I don't know why God laid it on my heart to do the video so late in the afternoon. It may be that some ladies are struggling with being alone tonight. Um, but uh, I pray that it was a blessing. I pray that it was encouraging. Uh, so I'm just going to pray with you all, for you all, and cover um, you guys as you start your week. Uh, if this was a blessing, please share. And um I hope that you all will understand how valuable you are and how precious your favor is after watching this. So, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that you called us a good thing. We thank you, Lord God, that you've created us from the foundations of the earth to be wives, not to be girlfriends, not to be side chicks, but to be wives. But help us, Lord God, not to continue to give our favor over to people who you have not ordained us to be with, who you have not created a divine connection with, Lord God. We know that people latch on to us because they know that you've created us to be a good thing. But help us to see it for what it is. If it's not who you created us to be with, Lord God. Help us to step back. And if we don't have the strength to step back, we ask that you step in, Father God. I ask that you cover the women who are watching, those who are married, those who are in waiting, God, especially my sisters who are in waiting, Lord God. Cover them in the name of Jesus from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, God. I ask that you cover them in your blood. I ask that you touch their minds and their hearts. Allow their hearts to be guarded like never before, Lord God, so that they are not releasing their favor and giving over, to their, giving over their favor, Lord, to those who are undeserving. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, for the revelation. I thank you, Lord God, that I'm no longer willingly giving up my favor to those who are undeserving, Lord God. But since you've allowed me to have the strength to wait on my husband, now he is obtaining the favor that you said in your word he would. I thank you, Lord God, that you are helping my sisters, Lord God, to continue to wait. Wait on you, Lord God. Wait on you to show them who it is you have for them, Lord. And I thank you, Lord God, that you're opening the eyes and the hearts of their Adam to see them, to reveal, reveal them to him, Lord God, that he's being prepared just for them, Father. I thank you right now, Lord God, for all things. I thank you, Lord God, that even when it gets hard, you're going to help us to continue to stand. And when we've done all to stand, we will stand there for we declare that we are a good thing because of you and through you, Father God. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that is so do your holy and matchless name. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. Love y'all. Get some rest. I know it's like after 10 o'clock, but I will be talking to you all soon. Love you to pieces.